What's good y'all, I'm Leezy the Gifted. I'm a rapper and a producer and today I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how I make songs uh, and I'm super excited to let you in so let's get it. Get that, hit that, jump shot, wet that, post moves, no rules, chef that, no boo. So the first thing we're gonna do is I got this little chord progression and um, I was playing around on the piano yesterday and uh, I remember what I played so I wanna start here, show you guys what it is and then I'm gonna go over to the computer. I got my stuff ready to go. So first thing, on the left hand, <clears throat> I'm doing really simple. That's called C minor. And then I'm gonna play some stuff. So it's gonna be, so I'm gonna put my foot on the um, right pedal, that way it sustains. So I'm gonna go, it's gonna be like this. Super simple. So it's C minor, then E flat. And then on the right, I'm gonna play some stuff. So here's what it's gonna sound like. And then I'm just gonna stick with the C minor and the E flat. Really, 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 really simple. So we're gonna go now to the computer. I got, I might have to play around with the instrument. I know I wanna go with the piano because I know that piano sounds sick. Let me hear what this sounds like. Nah, these are weird. I want like a piano. Hold up, we're gonna go. This is Omnisphere that I'm using. We're gonna go to Keyscape. That's exactly it. Now I need to find the BPM though. So usually I start with the BPM, which is the metronome. But this time, I, like yesterday, I was just on the piano playing. So let me hear that. That's perfect. Quantize, let's hear it. Banger, banger, banger alert. I'm gonna go with the bass line now. I hear a string, I hear a string. All right, so I just laid down the chord progressions. Um, you know, I, st I, I, I make beats pretty different every time. Usually, yes, I start with a chord progression and then maybe I'll throw the clap, then I'll throw the hi-hat, I'll start with some drums. But right now, I just feel like I wanna throw a bass in there and I already have the perfect bass line. So I'm gonna lay that down right now. So lay the little bass line down. What I like to try to do is layer the kick with the bass line, but let's just hear this. We're gonna take it step by step. We're gonna slow it down a little. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, cool. So the name of the bass is called Big Daddy. So you know I love the name of that. So I'm not gonna do any mixing quite yet. I'll do that a little bit later. Right now I just wanna get everything down. All right. We on. Mm. I'm gonna get some drums going. You know it's knocking when something up there is vibrating. You know it's knocking. I don't wanna go too crazy with the drums. I just wanna pick something that I know for a fact is gonna work. Sometimes I like to experiment with drums. Ooh, I'll take a snare that really might sound cool. I just wanna, I wanna make something that I know for a fact is gonna sound good. It's just kind of one of those beats. I've used that a million times. Let me turn that down so I don't hurt my camera person's ears, Trevor. Mm. All right, now we're gonna lay down a little uh, clap snare pattern. Sweet. I don't want to do the kick yet. I don't want to do the kick. I want to do hi-hats now. We are going to do a little bit of a unique hi-hat pattern today because I'm feeling it like that. Let's find it first. Yeah. Let me... Nah, I don't like the hi-hat. Yeah, maybe that one. Okay, 
it. Here we go. Now, I know what we're doing. We're gonna keep this simple. Hi-hat time. So right now I'm doing consistent hi-hats, and then I'm gonna do some rolls. Sweet, we're gonna throw some rolls in there. Let's get it. Nice. I'm gonna turn those hi-hats down. Hey, one, one thing, I used to make this mistake a lot with hi-hats. I used to make my hi-hats too loud because I wanted them to be heard. When you make your hi-hats too loud, it's so, they're so, they hit so consistently that they're just, it's too much, it's too much. So I really learned that you want your hi-hats to be like an, a layer that's under a lot of the other drums. Just a little tip for you. By the way, get really, really in depth. The reason is because the high end of the hi-hats is so much, like it's only high end and it's really strong. You don't need to make the volume that loud. The high end of the EQ will speak for itself. If you don't know what the heck I just said, don't trip. I'll probably explain it in this video. All right, now let me see. I'm gonna just experiment with some kicks things. We're gonna lay down the kick. hear that soloed with the bass. I'm feeling this. All right, we're gonna, I wanna add an open hat. An open hat is that little Yeah. Oh, that's enough. Just to add a little more flair to it, you know what I mean? Definitely don't need the volume of the open hat being too loud. You gotta think about, okay, I come from the perspective of start the song completely from scratch. I see every single step of the way, all the way until the end. So I, I see every piece of it and I'm already th kind of thinking ahead. It's like chess a little bit. When you're making beats, you have to understand there will be mixing, right? There will be a person's voice. The reason I understand that is because I put my voice on him. So you already need to start thinking of priorities in the beat. And that's personal preference. Luckily, since I'm the vocalist, I ha my personal preference gets huge priority. So I already know with my songs, I like there to be a good punch. That's gonna come from the kick. I like the melody to be there, but I don't like the melody to take up too much space from the vocals. So I already kind of have a good sense of priorities of everything, and that comes from years of experience. I'm already starting to do little tiny things with mixing. Nothing that you're missing, just volume stuff. I'm just turning things up and down, so. Basically, I want to do like when I mix, meaning my vocals are recorded and I'm mixing, I want to do as little amount of work as possible. And the way you do that is just start trying to do some of the work right now with the beat. So that once your vocals are in, it's like, well, the beat's already pretty mixed. Like all the instruments sound great together. Vocals are sounding good because I recorded them well. Now I don't have to do that much work. I just have to bam, 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 throw a couple things on the vocals, make sure everything's balanced, maybe a limiter, and then bam, you're good. Don't worry if you don't know what everything I'm talking about is. I'll break some of it down. You're good. I am going to add another instrument though. Bells and vibes. <laughs> you know Lizzie's all about the vibes. Yeah. I like what I'm playing, but I don't really like the instrument. It's too much, dude. These might not be my vibes.
Oh yeah, that's cool. All right. I'm just debating if I should take him up a pitch. So I'm gonna solo this out. This is what it is right now. What do you think? I wanna throw in some strings. Cause I had originally said I wanted to throw strings in there. So we're going to. So this is called Nexus. This is another set of VST, it's like a bunch of instruments. This is Nexus, I used Nexus for two years straight. Like all my songs the past two years I've used Nexus. And then I just recently bought Omnisphere. If you're a music producer, nerd like I am, you know Omnisphere is crazy. But I like to go back to Nexus, I'm super familiar with it, yeah. <clears throat> By the way, a gallon a day keeps the fat away. I know exactly what types of strings I want. Like I, it's it's a violin, something like that. Like. I don't know. That's good actually, and I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be like low in the mix. Like if it's up here, like. Eh. But if it's low, like a little layer. I want you to hear this with all the instruments. So here's what we got. Right? I'm gonna just break this down just so you know where we're at. Right? And we got the Bell Key LA Moog. So check this out, y'all. Here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna have the piano come in first. I like to layer my instruments, make sure I know what everything is. That string we just did, dark cellos. All right, Big Daddy, the bass is coming through. Let's hear how this sounds. start rapping I just gotta hit some up so I'm about to write something this is gonna be so wet eight percent on my phone let's go Yo, rappers, I'm taking a pause. Rappers, there's this app, I'm not an affiliate at all. It's called Rhymers Block. If you don't use it, you should. It's so sick. You write stuff down, and when you write a word down, it rhymes, can you see it? It, ri it finds rhyming words. And for those of you who think that that's cheating, you are so stupid if you think that's cheating. It's not. Actually, I think I got something better. Here's what I'm doing, y'all. We recording, let's get it. Walk over here with me, I'm gonna explain some stuff to you. Usually, recording for me completely depends. Sorry, talk to the camera, because you don't want to look at my back while I'm talking. Let me set this up, and then I'll explain what I'm doing.
Okay, so let me just explain to you what I'm gonna do with recording. Sometimes you start to get sort of your plug and play methods of how you do things. You wanna try not to fall into it too much because then a lot of your songs are gonna sound the same. And sometimes I feel like I fall a little bit victim to it, but I wanna just let you in on the process and I wanted to get something out quick uh, and just show you how easy it is to make songs when you fully produce your own music. With my hook, right? This is kind of what I usually do with my vocals. So I'm gonna record one main vocal and it's gonna be the loudest volume and it's gonna be straight in the middle. Walk it like it's all get on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on the throne. It's that rich life. Right, so that's that basically what the main vocal will be. Then I'm gonna do a double and a triple, which means I'm gonna say all of those words Again, the exact same way. There's gonna be three of those tracks, but one of them is pan middle, and then the layers are pan to the left, pan to the right. And I'm gonna turn those layers way down. And it completely depends, but if the main one is like 0.0, .0 these two are gonna be like negative 10. It's just gonna add more depth and space because they're spread out. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two more vocals where I'm gonna be more deep vocal. So the first one was, Walk it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. A little bit higher pitched. So the fourth and fifth layer are gonna be like, walk it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. You girl getting sick, you ain't grown. Way deeper. Reason being, for me, I just like to add all those different harmonies. Like, I like to think of it as that it adds a little bit more vibration and more space. You're not gonna be able to distinctly hear it when you hear the final mastered song, but it is gonna be something that adds more depth. Then after that, I might add, you know, like ad libs. Like, you know how in the background of songs, like you'll hear them be like, bow. Yeah, uh. Like I'm gonna do not those kinds, but I'm gonna do like harmonic ones. So if in the main one I'm like, walk it like you're talking on your own, I might be like, own, like some shit like that in the background, like as doubles. Those are gonna be, and you're gonna hear those distinctly, and I'm gonna pan those. So all in all, I'm gonna do like seven vocal tracks, and that's pretty much what I do with most of my hooks. I have seven vocal tracks with that formula. That's just mine. You can take it if you want. I don't really care. You know, be kind of cool. No. Is. <laughs> Here's the minor setback of being in your garage. Because I'm in a garage, I'm like basically outdoors. So what's been happening is, and like I need to fix this. So like this red box is my audio interface. And when I record my microphone, on my microphone, it gets plugged into that and it turns my voice into ones and zeros so it can process. This also processes your vocals, make them sound good. My speakers are also plugged into this. Everything out here is pretty much okay. The keyboard's been fine, speakers have been fine, but there can be moisture in the air. By the way, this thing is 10 years old, so it could have been that, but this thing gets a little bit messed up and I believe it's because of the moisture in the air and I leave it out here. So I need to buy a new one and leave it indoors when I'm done. So just a little reference for you, if you're outdoors, if you're in a garage like this, put your stuff away when you're done. I mean, I don't think you need to put every single piece of equipment away. Keyboard, put a blanket over it. Speakers, put a blanket over it. Headphones are probably okay. But with stuff, little things that you can put away, put them away. All right, here we go. Uh. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on the throne. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. This that, this that, this that, this that, this that. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on the throne. This that rich life, rich life. 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 Now clearly, we in a garage, this ain't that rich life, but I just think it sounds cool, so I'm gonna make a song like it. See, now I've, now that I explained out loud what I just said, now I feel hella fake for making this, because it's really not that rich life. But it's okay, man, it's a lifestyle, and it's just a song, don't trip about it. I'm gonna do it higher pitched. I need water if I wanna do that. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on the throne. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Hold on. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Ah, that's way off key. Hold on. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna sing it. We're gonna rap it. Walk it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on the throne. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. This that, this that, this that, this that. Oh. Now we're gonna do those high pitched like ad libby things. So, you ain't grown. I think that's cool. Now we're doing ad libs. I'm gonna stand a little bit further back from the mic. On, phone, grown. Don't. For vocals, don't use your throat. 
you gotta use your diaphragm. I'm not an expert, I've just been doing vocals for a long time. I used to take vocal lessons for, I don't know, I think I did it for like two, three months. But use your diaphragm, use your your lips deliberately. Like when I was doing the groan, I wasn't like groan, like that, I was like groan, like closing it and it made it a lot easier. Anyway, just little tips here and there. I'm gonna play this in front of you. I'm gonna have my headphones on. I'm gonna quick mix. Fuck it like you talk it on your own. Build my amp. Yes, I do have auto tune on there, by the way. Fuck it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. Now I'm gonna do that thing I told you where I'm gonna take the double and the triple, turn them way down, and pan them. I like to pan 30 to the left, 30 to the right. My boy Jason Garski, Ken, he gave me that tip. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on a throne. It's that rich life, rich life. Oh, these have auto tune on them though. We're gonna take that off. These rap vocals don't need auto tune. I'm not singing on them. So let's hear how these sound. Fuck it like you talk it on your own. Build an empire for the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on a throne. It's that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. This that rich life, rich life. So listen, I'm gonna solo everything. Listen to how this sounds without the rap vocals. Fuck it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on Still the good, phone. but when I add the rap vocals. Fuck it like you talk it on your own. Build my empire from the phone. Your girl getting sick, you ain't grown. She wanna take a seat up on It adds that depth that I was talking about. Let's hear the whole thing. I want to throw my um, producer tag. Uh, all right, y'all. Hey, that's a quick way um, just to show you how I how I make some of my songs. I make most of my songs. I want to let you in on the process. Yo, if you enjoyed this video or got any value or entertainment or education at all from this video, do me a humongous favor. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification because every single week I'm gonna be doing a video. Every single week in 2020, I'm doing a video because I want to start the decade off right. I'm gonna be giving tips to rappers, tips to producers, mindset, marketing, all types of things. And if you want to see a certain thing on the channel, comment it below. I have a podcast called Big Talk with Leezy. You need to subscribe to it. It's all personal development, entrepreneurship, mindset type stuff. Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud. I'm Leezy the Gifted. That's all one word. Go listen to some of my music. I'm going ham this year. Instagram, uh, I'm, I'm at Leezy the Gifted. Facebook, I'm at Leezy the Gifted. DM me on Instagram if you want to be a part of my email list. My landing page right now is under construction. When it's back up, I'll get that going. But if you want to be a part of my email list, and get you know new beat bundles and new updates and tips and just want to keep in touch with me send me a dm on instagram and i'll add you to my email list thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week peace Walking like you talk it on your own build my empire from the phone girl getting sick you ain't grown she want to take a seat up on the throne this that rich life rich life this that rich life rich life this that rich life rich life this that rich life rich life